<laughs> she helped my mom when she had just left my father, so she helped raise me. And I hope that I'm 1% of the woman that she was, her character. She means a lot to me. And uh, the last few years that I've been meeting with her, I've been writing down everything she says because she has so much wisdom. And uh, so I'm going to read to you some of uh, my Monica quotes and words to live by. But first, I'm going to start off with a joke. And I hope it's not going to go over like a pork chop at a Jewish wedding. <laughs> That's a Monica quote. <laughs> All right. All right, what's the difference between... I'm sorry. i got to get on the right page here. I have so many pages of her notes. All right, what do sperm and lawyers have in common? <laughs> they both have one in a billion chance of becoming human. Oh. <laughs> All right, final joke from Monica. These are Monica's jokes. Why doesn't Iowa have a professional football team? Because then Illinois would want one too. <laughs> Right. And we've got to give Chris some quote, some credit here too, because I didn't write down if it was Chris or Monica half the time, because it was coming from them. So here are some of her quotes. Your toughest fight is always against yourself. Dying is easy, living is the hardest part. In life, no one gets out alive. Appreciate what's good in your life all of the time because it can always disappear. God creates perfection. The rest of us are just hacks. <laughs> Monica was simple. She'd always say her three least favorite things were people, paperwork, and politics. He who isn't an idealist at 20 doesn't have a heart, and he who isn't a realist at 30 doesn't have a brain. No one's going to live in your head rent-free. <laughs> and she'd always say, it's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> All you have to do is believe in something greater than yourself. <laughs> and I'm going to need some help here from my German folks. So after I say it, can you say it in German? The devil should strike you with a bolt of lightning while you're taking a shit. <laughs> about it, you're going to cry about it. <laughs> In God we trust, all others pay cash. <laughs> There's always three sides to the story. His side, her side, and the truth. <laughs> you can tell a German, but you can't tell them much. <laughs> Coming from my favorite <laughs> Monica would tell us that uh, she say, "I text Chris when I'm leaving the house, when I get in, and when I get home." Chris would say, and I tell everyone that she's texting me a Polish sex manual. <laughs> in out, in out. <laughs> it's better to die on your feet than live on your knees. That's one of mine. That's Chris. <laughs> And Monica is 20 years old with 40 years of experience. <laughs> yes. 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 That's they want her. What anyone thinks of you is nobody's. What anyone thinks of you is none of your business. That's right. That's true. And the type of fish you catch depends on the fishing hole you're fishing at. Uh huh. That also goes good for uh, finding baits. <laughs> All right, and then one final story. Uh, I was just recently in South Korea. 
and I called Monica from South Korea just to talk to her about being so close to so many people suffering in the world. And Chris and I had a good conversation. The three of us were talking, and they told me, let me tell you a story. You know, at first I'm like, no, I, was, I, I want to talk about these atrocities, these atrocities that are happening. Let me tell you a story. There was this, this dad with his son, and his son wanted to do something, so he took the newspaper, and he, there was a map of the world in the newspaper, and he tore it into little pieces, and he gave it to his son. He said, put this together, this puzzle together, the world. And sure enough, the son put the puzzle together. He came back to his dad, and he said, look, dad, I finished the puzzle. And the dad said, wow, I can't believe you did that so fast. And he said, well, on the other side of the paper, there's a picture of a family. So I just put the family together, and the world took care of itself. Mm. <laughs> and it's things like that that I'm going to miss the most when Monica because I could call her and she could always talk to me in a story and bring something home. And I'm really glad I still have Chris for that. Thank you. Thank you. And our final Monica, so I just want to tell everyone that I'm going to be just fine, fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. 